So we have a situation here uh, where we're trying to figure out how much ice cream is being used kind of per scoop by this shop. And we know that the ice cream scoop, you, it, it creates two inch diameter spheres of ice cream. If you ever watch somebody scoop ice cream out of a big tub of it, it doesn't really form a solid sphere. It kind of curls around itself and makes something that's spherical, but not entirely filled. So what I want to, uh, what I want to know here is if each scoop looks like a sphere, but only 75% of it actually has ice cream, so either 25% is empty space, then I want to know what's the total volume in a double scoop serving. All right, well, I know that the volume of a sphere is 4 thirds pi r cubed. And we're talking about two spheres, right? Because it's a double scoop. So we'll double that. But I only want 75% of it. So we'll multiply this by 0.75. All right, so let's see. The radius, uh, the diameter is 2 inches, which means the radius is going to be 1 inch. So this is 4 thirds times pi times 1 cubed times 2 times 0.75. That's 1.5. Right now, th this is the part where you get your calculator out. And this comes out to 6.82 cubic inches. So I've got a related question here, right? Suppose we have an ice cream cone that we're going to put this scoop into. Uh, and I know the cone is one and a half inches across at the top. So it's going to be the diameter. And it's four inches deep. And I want to know how much ice cream can I fill this thing up with. So the shape we're talking about here is a cone. It's a kind of an inverted cone because that's how you'd hold ice cream. And I know the radius, excuse me, the diameter is one and a half inches. And the height is four inches. And I wonder how much ice cream can we fill this thing with. So we're looking for the volume. The volume of a cone is one-third pi r squared h. All right, so that's one-third times pi times 1.5 divided by 2 squared, right, because the radius is half the diameter, times 4, and my calculator tells me this is 2.355 uh, cubic inches. Okay, so th this is the end of our discussion of kind of pure traditional geometry. In the next set of lectures, we're going to talk about uh, what's called right angle trigonometry, right? We're going to see how that can be used to solve all sorts of uh, new practical questions.